Hey y'all, it's Katie. Welcome back to another Animal Crossing New Horizons Island tour. I have such a cool island for you guys today. This entire island by Terry is all inspired by magical ruins. So there's going to be a lot of whimsy, a lot of beauty, but also that sense of abandonment and ruins, which is all just going to be so, so cool. With that said, you guys, if you enjoy island tours just like this one and being inspired by these amazing island creators, make sure to subscribe to my channel as I put out new videos every single Wednesday and Friday. All right, you guys, let's take a look at Terry's map and the island name is Dummyville. Terry's Instagram is also the Dummy Chronicles. As per usual, all of her information regarding social media, regarding the island, the dream address, codes, all of that good stuff is going to be in the description box because I know you guys will want to look her up, follow this island, get inspired because First off, just look at the map. Look at this waterscaping and terraforming. It's going to be beautiful. And we do have two residents. I know only uh, one of the houses is decorated, so we'll make sure to check that out. And then for villagers, we have Miss Anka, we have Coco, Genji, Klaus, who I don't see too often. Oh my goodness. And then the most popular queen herself, we have Shino. Then we have Ioni, Doby, Judy, Julian, who I absolutely love, and Chester. Also, like I said, here is the dream address right on the screen, but all of that good information will be in the description box so you can look up this island and also give Terry a follow. Let me just say, I also love the time of day in which this is set. It feels very moody, it feels very dark and whimsical, and this entrance. I mean, does it even get more magical? Yes, I sound like Chandler being a little bit, <laughs> but seriously, look at how stunning this is. The columns, the statues, the Nova lights, the moon, and the glowing moss is absolutely beautiful, which reminds me, outside of resident services, whenever I woke up, I had to, of course, do a little robbing, do a little thievery. <laughs> and pick up the presents that were left outside. And it looks like we have a couple of outfits. And then some props as well. So let's get dressed up for this amazing island tour. Instead of the toga, I think I'm gonna wear the glowing moss dress. Oh yes, oh yes. But I need to take off my socks because the socks and sandals combo looks a little goofy. Okay, there we go absolutely amazing this entrance is so symmetrical and so pretty absolutely love okay let's go to the right usually i go to the left first but today we're gonna go to the right and you totally get the sense of magic immediately and i think the glowing moss items do a wonderful job of that like the glowing moss balloons even just how it's planted and sprinkled throughout also, I love a good stunted bamboo tree. If you're not familiar as to what this item or plant, I really should say is, it's the stunted bamboo. Oh my gosh, yeah, this is a really cool island. It's definitely giving me almost like fairy core kind of vibes, but in a very natural, overgrown kind of way. And here is where those beautiful presents are left outside if you do decide to dream of this island. And I mean, look at this double bridge moment. This is just way too good not to explore on camera. It also is inspiring me to use the stone bridges way more often. I feel like I almost always gravitate towards using the brown Zen bridge but these look so lovely. And then here we are at Residence Services, right here. And I did see a little incline whenever I first woke up, so that is what inclined me, get it? <laughs> to go this way, <laughs> because I saw this beautiful moon. And on this specific pathing, this beautiful blue cloud-like pathing, it just looks really magical. I love how foggy it is too. This must be set either very, very, very early in the morning. Well, I guess that would have to be it, right? Because it's not quite nighttime. 
or maybe it is and it's just foggy, but I absolutely, absolutely love how this was set. Wow, you know what's really cool about this island too? I mean, many things, of course, obviously how stunning and glowy and natural it is, but there's actually quite a lot of open space that is just pathing or, you know, just a couple of items you can run through, like the pile of leaves, which makes it very clean. You know, it's not a cluttered island by any means, and yet fully decorated and fully captures the whole aesthetic that Terry was going for, and it is amazing. Oh, there's a friend. Wait, look at this outfit, too. <laughs> Just think happy thoughts. That I will do. Also, that outfit, it must be a different version of the glowing moss. That outfit is kind of hilarious. <laughs> Whoa, look at this build. And with the pink castle items, the castle wall. Oh my gosh, that actually looks really nice together. I would have expected the, the beige or the ivory colorway, but the pink just kind of gives it that warmth that it needs. That's a really beautiful build. And goes to show too how you don't have to use simple panels or stalls or the storefronts. This is truly just a lot of the stone items like the gazebo, obviously the ruined pillars and archways, and then the castle items, but wow. And again, the symmetry is just beautiful. <laughs> and I can't get over, I know that I've been doing this on every tour, but running through the glowing moss is just too fun. I love the little spores that come out. And my controller just died, so <laughs> sorry for the cutaway right there. I had to grab my controller that was actually charged. Wow, this is so pretty. I see a bridge back there, but I think we're gonna go down this incline. I love the concept of these abandoned ruins and yet having this sense of whimsy, sense of magic. It makes me wonder, because I have seen a couple of islands that are deemed like abandoned or overgrown, but just the slightest element of magic makes it really unique. All of the Nova lights and of course, like I said, the glowing moss, just it brings a whole new element to this whole entire island. I wonder what, what is this item right here? I know it's a glowing moss item, clearly. Like a glowing moss rock or boulder. Wow, and these beaches, this is unique. And look, it looks like you can drop star fragments right on top of these kind of boulder-esque items. Wow, what a unique way to decorate beaches. Again, so pretty. I feel like we've already seen so many bridges, but again, now we have 10 that we can use instead of eight. So I guess it is no surprise that pretty much everyone wants to use as many as possible. Whoa, and now here we are at some serious ruins. <gasps> Look at Miss Judy. Now that is a photo op. This is so magical. Oh, and there is Ione. She matches this island very, very well, might I just say. This is a beautiful way to decorate beaches and not only just because it's very unique but look it's really just three different items and some custom pathing and it really captures a beautiful beautiful part of the island's theme you know you really don't need too much to tie your beaches in because i know for a lot of people if you're anything like me decorating beaches is not the easiest oh this is beautiful that is beautiful. I have never thought to combine these crescent chairs and then the moon in this exact way. 
but that is beautiful. So if you are looking for some kind of like magic, dark academia, fairy core, abandoned, any of those themes, this is the island for you. And look at this. These are the two houses that are placed together to look like a magical, beautiful mansion. Let me actually get a better view here. Because that symmetry is so pleasing. Wow. And even the use of the different columns, not all of them are those overgrown viney ones. You have like the cleaner ones up here. Now that's just so pretty. And even the glowing moss wreaths, everything ties in so, so perfectly. Now I do know that only the right house is decorated. So, and only I think, I think I was told three of the rooms have this ruins theme. So some of them will have a theme and then some will be very unique and different. Wow. Oh my gosh. So definitely this one fits the island theme, holy cow. <laughs> Might I just say the glowing moss balloons, I did not think I would like. Just in general, they're perfect for this island, but I've fallen in love with them. When I first saw them, it reminded me of the movie Shrek when he blows up the frog into a balloon. <laughs> Something about the texture, <laughs> especially the very, very green colorway. Look at it. It, that's what it reminds me of. <laughs> but this room is beautiful. I love, absolutely love the archways framing the actual doors. That is so pretty. And we'll do the usual progression. Let's go in the left room first. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Oh, it feels just like an ancient, almost like Grecian spa. Oh, wow. And then look at the accent wall back there. That is pretty. Oh my gosh, how perfect are the northern lights in that window? This is beautiful. And look at the low countertop that kind of frames the actual bath. That's a very nice detail. It's a very good place where you could set your towels, you could throw your robe right there, maybe some toiletries. Beautiful, and again, with the symmetry. It's just, it's so pleasing to the eye when something is not only symmetrical, but just really beautiful and unique, and this island has it all. To the back. Oh my gosh, how beautiful. Whoa. Whoa, that is a cool way to use an accent wall. Oh my gosh. That is quite an illusion. So that's the glowing moss wallpaper. It looks like the inside of a giant tree. And then this is the graveyard wallpaper, I believe. Oh my goodness, what a cool bedroom. It's so unique because you have this like really whimsical exterior wallpaper and also flooring too. And yet it's still a very traditional bedroom where you have your bed, you have a vanity, a dresser, a mirror. So, so well done. And again, those glowing moss balloons, I'm obsessed with them. They really just look like whimsical, cool lamps, but I cannot get over how those two, um, what are they called? Partition walls really frame the accent wall so perfectly. So it almost looks like the inside of the tree. How cool. And to the right.
Oh, and then here is the first room that was clearly decorated prior to this new theme, but equally just as beautiful and cool. Look at the little cat. We have a little cat tea cozy. We also have a cat cake. <laughs> Okay, this is super sweet. So if you're looking for any fun kitchen inspiration, here you go. Oh, I love it. So much fun. So the other two rooms as well because now we have officially seen three rooms that have the theme. So the upstairs and downstairs will not be a part of the Magical Ruins theme, but I do want to look at them. <laughs> I still want to see how they're decorated. Oh my gosh, and I'm so glad I did, because look at this pub. Oh, that's so much fun. Look at all of the artwork on the walls. And then you have a TV that's kind of out of commission over there, it looks like. Wow. I love the pretzels that were added to the update right in front of me. Oh, love them. I love the posters too. Look at Blathers and Celeste over there next to each other. Oh, this is so fun. It's definitely giving me like sports bar pub kind of vibes. I love it. I'm curious to see now what's in the basement. Let's check it out. Oh, how fun. I mean, clearly this whole area was just made for Turkey Day and for Thanksgiving. Oh, it's so beautiful. And I have to say the wedding tables and chairs are some of my favorite favorite items. They're so elegant, but you can use them in such a multitude of ways. Look how pretty these curtains are too whenever you pan around the room. So fun. And look at that beautiful tea set right in front of me. That is so stunning. This whole room is very elegant, very polished, and yet very cozy at the same time. You know, it still feels very homely and somewhere where you can gather with your villagers and celebrate. Okay, now let's keep exploring the island. Okay, that was such a treat. Might I just say too, something about this green dress matching the glowing moss and the bamboo. The way it all ties together is just really fun. And it's just like a little pop of color, like not a ton, but just like enough to kind of contrast against the grays, against the blues. Oh, there's the queen. Shino herself. Shino, Judy, and then there was Ioni. Man, we are seeing all of the queens today. Ooh, that's pretty. This is a very random and small detail, but the way that the crescent chairs are lined up with this big vine combobulation item is very pleasing to the eye. I really like that combination. That's all. <laughs> now let's go back up here and find that bridge that I was very tempted to go across. Here it is. Wow, look at these sunken waterfalls too. Wait, can I go this way? <gasps> Whoa! Oh my goodness. Oh, that's beautiful. And look, that's the campsite down there. What? That is cool. Never ever in my, what year of doing? year and a half, however long that it's been since I've been doing these island tours, have I seen such a cool campsite. I am challenging everyone to think of a campsite build cooler than this one because oh my goodness. Yeah, what? 
this is amazing. And maybe I am a little bit biased because the moon has always been like one of my favorite items. Oh, and there is a Mario pipe. We'll go in it in a second. Oh, look, and there's just like a little hop across. Oh my goodness. Easily one of my favorite campsites. Okay, yeah, let's take the Mario pipe. I'm way too curious to see where it goes. <gasps> Wait, where are we? Whoa. Whoa, I mean, this is the museum cl clearly. Hold on, let me see where we are on the map. Yeah, that's what I thought. I thought we were like right behind the campsite. <gasps> Oh my goodness. If this isn't the coolest museum entrance as well. I love the double incline. Wow. Absolutely. Wow. I mean, how amazing is this? I love the columns with the Nova lights just kind of placed throughout the water. Again, I'm, I'm loving this whole like magical ruins theme. Oh man, this makes me want to like change my theme. I can't, I cannot do that, I cannot do that. But holy cow. This is a museum entrance that Blathers deserves, if I've ever seen one. That is bonkers. <laughs> That's truly the only way I know how to describe how amazing this whole area is. Like, whoa. And I love that it's accessible by the Mario pipe. That is also really, really fun. Just kind of a little Easter egg <laughs> hidden gem. Well, I'm so glad that we went this way because that was such a treat. I like touching these now, now that I know that they release little spores. <laughs> Wow, this island is beautiful. Dare I say it, I know I don't say this every time I tour an island, so if you're uh, keeping count, this is not one of the, like the many times I say this, but I think we're gonna have to add this one to the favorites list, which only exists in my brain. There's not like an actual list that I keep. But in my own head, there is a list. <laughs> <laughs> this one is going on there. <laughs> wow. I mean, it's just way, way cool. Again, so many bridges. And here we are at that little neighborhood area. Oh wait, no, this is Abel Sisters. I thought that was a villager house at first. So before we look at Abel's, oh my gosh, of course there is a rock garden. Of course there is, and it is a functional rock garden as well, it looks like. Wow, and we are on the left side of the museum because I did see these um, like the snow-covered volcanoes, which look really, really cool. I feel like every time I've seen the volcano item used thus far, people are using it as a rock instead of a volcano, which I would do the exact same thing. <laughs> Here is Able Sisters, perfectly camouflaged with the blue castle walls. Brilliant. Exactly the way to make the Ables fit this island theme. And then same with Nooks. Man, again, I love how this island has so much room to navigate, like so much just open space to walk. It's so easily accessible. Oh, I love that. Wait, what in the world? I almost missed this incline. Oh, it's the secret beach. Well, I love that. Love it. Oh, nope, don't want to turn that off. <laughs> Amazing. Everything on this whole island is fully functional too, which 
is so fun. <gasps> Ooh, a ladder. Love the ladders too. And how perfect is this spot for stargazing when Celeste is visiting your island? Pretty, pretty perfect. And I think, hmm, where to go now? How do I, wait, can I get up that way? Hold on, I might be missing something. Is this how I hop over? Not me getting lost on an island that is like so easy to navigate. We'll go around the other way. I am in love with this pathing as well. I always, always, always tend to like gravitate towards like browns and you know, like the wooden pathing. But this is making me really want to try out some like gray or stone version of pathing. Not to mention, also, the combination of flowers on this island is so pretty. You have blue, you have white, of course, you have pink. A beautiful combination. And the glowing moss, like something about the green and the yellow all tied together is just so, so pleasing to the eye. I almost, I wish you could customize the actual glowing moss itself. I mean, Definitely you cannot. You can customize glowing moss items to be different colorways, of course. But, hi Anka. <laughs> but it would be really, really cool to have the ability to like, you know, plant this and have it be, you know, the winter time colorway, which is similar to that, this right here. Oh my gosh, they all release spores. That's fun. And here we are getting into the neighborhood. Oh my goodness. Can we just talk about that archway and having those two statues frame it really makes sense. It's really perfect. And here is Julian's house, which I love. I love Julian. He's actually my, my smug villager currently on my island. I love him, I absolutely love him. And then I think that's Miss Ioni's house, if I'm remembering correctly. Ooh, and here is Judy's house, which I was told that there's a ladder back here, is that right? Let's see. Oh, yes, I see it. It's right here. Which, oh my goodness, this whole view over here. Oh my gosh, how pretty is that? Oh, so this is how you can get over this way. I see, I see, I see. And look, and there is an incline. That is brilliant. So I was just being a dummy. Whenever I was on the other side, I kind of went about this island like backwards. I should have gone to the left first, but wow. I mean to the right first. Wait, well, you no, know, I did go to the right first, but then I ended up going left. You know what? Point being, <laughs> this is a very cool area. And love this incline down to the peninsula. So pretty and so simple. You really don't need many items, much foliage, anything to like make your peninsula really rock. Cause I know that's, it can be a tricky, tricky little area to decorate. I can't get over how much I love these beaches. Oh, hello.
so pretty. Okay, let's go back and look at the neighborhood again. Boop. Boop. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Hold on. There it is. I was like, I knew there was a ladder over here somewhere. Isn't that so pretty, though? This whole sunken waterfall moment is just beautiful. And look at how these archways too, the ones I just went under, they're all lined up to really give a tunnel effect, which is really, really cool. You could get super, super creative with that. Oh man, and this view of where we just were, all of this is so well orchestrated and well put together. Look at this little reading area. Man, the strapped books are such a cute little miscellaneous item that we were given. Love, love, love them. You know what? I know I talked about it whenever I was looking at the map at the very beginning of this tour, but the waterscaping on this island has been just immaculate, especially like where the museum was, where the campsite was, all of the sunken waterfalls have been just 10 out of 10. I mean, so brilliant in so many ways. Oh, how pretty is the pink glowing moss, Reed? Look at that. <laughs> oh, that's Shino's home, how precious. And we have a little gyroid out here. I'm gonna turn it on. <laughs> oh, and we're back at resident services. Well, let's explore on this side if we, if we can. Yeah, let's go this way. And there's Dobie's house. Oh my gosh, all of the glowing moss wreaths look really, really pretty. This is a really beautiful yard. It's very simple. You just have a couple of items and then the rest is pretty much pathing and foliage, but wow. Simplicity can be key, everyone. Don't forget that. And look at this. This is the vine, I think chair or bench. I don't know which it's called, but the way that it's placed, like it's growing out of all of this cobblestone is really cool. Oh man, this bridge moment. Hold on. Is this not like the most beautiful? Oh wait, there's our friend. I mean, I know this is a beautiful view, but I wanna say hi to Terry. Come here, come here, come here. We match. Enchantment awaits. Oh, I just love that. It's so true. It is so true, especially in regards to this island. Oh man, it is the most enchanted. And we have this beautiful right beach. Oh, and this fountain moment as well. So pretty. There's Miss Ioni again. You just fit in so perfectly right here. I can't even stand how cute you are. Oh, and there's our friend again. Hello. With a funny outfit. <laughs> Amazing. This is going on the favorites list. What can I say? Man, oh my goodness. I am taking mental notes for next time I flatten my island. I've got to finish my current one, but I am taking some serious mental notes for inspiration. I love that she's barefoot too. How cute are you? Oh my goodness. Well, you guys, I hope that you have enjoyed this island as much as I have because, I mean, come on. It is phenomenal, is it not? Make sure to go give Terry some love. Again, she will be linked in the description box below as well as a lot of information regarding the island itself if you want to dream of it, if you wanna check out the custom codes, all that good stuff will be below. I hope you guys are having an amazing end to 2021. 
It is crazy that this year has flown by. I am so thankful for each and every one of you. Thank you for being a huge part of my year. I'm excited for 2022 and what's to come. And I hope you guys are as well. I'm so thankful for you. With that said, I hope you are all having an amazing morning or afternoon. Maybe it's nighttime wherever you are. Whatever time it is, whatever day it is that you're watching this, I just hope it's a good one. And I will see y'all in the next one. Bye-bye.